The graph of x squared plus y squared equals 9 is graphed below. We're asked two questions here. The first one is write the expression which represents the graph of x squared plus y squared equals 9, shifted two units down. And then we're asked to sketch the graph of this relation in orange on the set of axes to the right. First, let's have a look at this, this relation. So it's not a function here, but it's, it's a relation. A circle is, is not a function because for some values of x, there exist two different y values associated with that value of x, so it's not a function. But the relation here, x squared plus y squared equals 9, well, that's a circle with its center at the origin and the radius is 3. And that's conventional. We, we've encountered this sort of, this relation before. So it's graph below. Write the expression which represents the graph of x squared plus y squared equals 9 shifted two units down. Well, if we want to shift something down, what we do is we go to our rules here and we figure out which rule applies. Well, this first rule is about shifting unit, uh, a graph a units to the right. This is about to the left. This one's a units up and this one's a units down. So we're going to use this last rule. It says to shift a graph a units down where a is some real number, replace y with y plus a. So here we want to shift this, the graph of this relation, two units down. So what we're going to do is replace, replace y with y plus, and here the units is two, so y plus two. So let's go ahead and rewrite this relation, but whenever we see y, we're going to replace that y with y plus two. So let's do that. So we're going to get x squared plus, and instead of y, we're going to get y plus 2, in brackets, equals 9. Great, so this expression represents the graph of, uh, of, of this relation in blue, which is shifted two units down, and that's, that's all we need here. Um, if it were a function, if it were a function, what we'd do is we'd uh, try and, and get this in terms of y equals something, but because it's not a function, this is just the conventional form, which is fine. So this works. This is our, our final answer for number one. Okay, what about for number two? It says sketch the graph of this relation in orange on the set of axes to the right. Well, we could go about drawing up a table of values and determining x and y values and so on, but we're told that, uh, that this expression, it represents the graph of this blue, uh, this blue relation shifted two units down. So all we need to do is we need to shift this two units down. So for instance, if we consider this point this point, this point, and this point, these are all the points at which the graph crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Well, all of these points are going to be two units down, so this is going to be two units down here. This is going to be two units down here. This one's going to be two units down here. And this is going to be two units down here. So we're just going to have a circle that goes through all these points. So let's draw that circle now. So it's going to be a circle looks something like that. Not the perfect circle, but that's okay. So that's the graph of this relation in orange, and we're done.